Hello everyone. Welcome to the introduction of SmartPay. In this video, I'm going to cover the main point of SmartPay and also I'm going to show the proof of concept by testing some important features on the application demo. So let's begin. What is SmartPay? SmartPay is an Android merchant cashier payment application it is standard, flexible, secure, and stable Android payment application with a complete bank card transaction capacity, mobile, mobile payment capacity, and uh, value added feature. It can be quickly connected to various payment systems using pre built communication protocol and providing a fast time to market. So, in SmartPay, we have a whole management business in just one application like a customer loyalty program, purchase, inventory management, report, supplier management, pre auth expenses, user management, order history, card balance, and reconciliation. Let's move to SmartPay use cases. So in order to use SmartPay, we have two options. Option one is to install the application in a handheld uh, Android Smart POS. The second option is to install uh, the application in an Android smartphone device and it has been connected to uh, an MPOS via Bluetooth. So uh, an MPOS is a classic POS uh, that helps us to collect payment. And now let's talk about Smart Pay architecture overview. In here we have uh, FITN EMV kernel, which is uh, a set of function that provide the processing logic and data that is required to perform uh, an EMV contact or contactless transaction. So the kernel is a part of the terminal payment application uh, that supports an EMV functionality. We have also uh, the FITN SDK, which is a service that allows us that allows the application uh, to use terminal features uh, using our API. And Fitian SDK offers uh, receipt, printing, uh, fingerprint management, barcode and QR code features, uh, smart card management, and uh, EMV based transaction. We have also uh, SMA, which is uh, the TMS mobile agent. So the, the name of our TMS is Storm. So uh, SMA uh, help us to communicate between Storm and TMS and SmartPay. Uh, for example, we can push uh, merchant parameters and other type of parameters. And in order to do that, we need to specify the package name of the application uh, on Storm. Also, uh, after we inject the key on Storm, we can push them directly to SmartPay. Uh, and also we need to specify uh, the package name uh, on Storm of the application. In here, we have uh, multiple protocols that help us communicate with uh, those system like uh, Biller and Value Added Service System, the Banking System and uh, Retail System. So uh, for example, uh, we have here this API, Swap, Web Service and uh, ISO 8583, which is uh, an international standard for uh, financial transaction. Uh, in here, we have the Nexo Retail, uh, which is uh, a protocol uh, that defines a set of interface between uh, card payment application and uh, a retail uh, point of sale system. We have also the Cancer Protocol, which we'll cover uh, in the next slide. We have also the generic DL protocol. And uh, for example, in here we have uh, the Nexo acquiring, which is uh, a protocol that uh, offer a next generation uh, international card uh, payment. So let's move to smart pay features. In here we have multiple features like uh, setting, cashiering, card payment, uh, store manager, top up e voucher and uh, bin payment and reporting. So for example, in here we have in setting uh, user role, management uh, network, uh, acquire system, merchant account, 
and uh, printer setting. Also, uh, in cashiering, we have the card schemes, uh, mobile payment, contactless cash, cash and check, and uh, settlement. In card payments, we have uh, multiple types like sales, void, refund, pre ord cancel, split payment, tips, installment, and offline sales. In store manager, uh, we have the inventory management, the staff, the supplier management, purchase, expense, and loyalty re rewards, which is for uh, customers. Now let's talk about uh, smart pay functional components. So in here we have multiple modules like uh, bank card transaction, which has uh, multiple type of transaction like purchase, void, refund, reversal, cash back, cash advance, uh, balance inquiry, pre out settlement, and cancel. Uh, we have uh, also the AMV module, uh, which has type of card schemes like UPI, Visa, MasterCard, uh, American Express, GCB, Discover, Rupay, and others. We have also uh, the key method uh, module, which has uh, master and slave key method. And we have also the duck push method. Uh, we have also the key loading device module, uh, which uh, which gives us the uh, the ability to le, le, to do the, the key loading uh, using the manual input or from uh, EC card or downloaded from store from bank or from the acquirer system. And also we have the card operation type module, which has uh, the contact ICC, the contactless and the magnetic stripe cards. We have also the parameters config uh, module, uh, which gives us uh, the ability to, uh, to do that uh, using the local config or the import from the SD card, or we can download it from Storm, from the bank or from the acquirer system. We have also the protocol modules, which has multiple types like the ESO, 85, 83, Nexo, Apercom, JSON, and others. We have also the store manager module, uh, which has the inventory management, uh, staff, supplier management, purchase, expense, uh, loyalty rewards uh, for customers. And we have others modules like uh, code mobile payment, uh, print support, printer support, which has uh, the local printer, uh, Bluetooth printer, and uh, IP printer. We have the payment type module and others module like top up e voucher, bill payments, and uh, ECR and others. And now let's move on to uh, the ECR integration. So, in ECR integration, we have uh, two type. The first one is ECR Pay with Concert Protocol. So Smart Pay include uh, Concert Protocol that offering uh, an easy and fast time to market for uh, electronic cash register integration with the Smart Pay application. So the idea is uh, the VTN uh, POS terminal are integrated directly with cash register through uh, a Bluetooth tangle. So uh, the idea is the amount is transmitted directly from the cash register to uh, the payment terminal uh, without even entering the amount on the POS. And the transaction status is returned to the cash register via wireless architecture. So the benefit uh, from the Kansas protocol is uh, this method require no integration uh, as the protocol is already implemented in our smart pay application. And the only requirement is the connectivity between ECR and POS uh, terminal using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi uh, dangle or USB cable. And there is no charges whatsoever. 
other type is the ECR pay without uh, the cancer's protocol. So it is, uh, in this case, there is non started protocol between uh, ECR and the POS terminal. So you, you, we can use any protocol or no protocol. And uh, we have a DLL uh, file that uh, play the role of uh, server and clients for communication between uh, ECR software and our POS terminal. And now let's talk about tax collection integration in Smash. So this is a short uh, overview of tax collection integration. So uh, occasionally some government are enforcing fiscal laws that require all taxpayers who generate sales from good, uh, from goods and uh, services to record and uh, use only approved fiscal cash register or uh, devices. So uh, countries are implement, implementing such laws to make uh, tax collection more efficient and manageable. So as a result of that, uh, taxpayers are obligated to submit a receipt for their sales revenue. So uh, where the receipts are stored exactly, so that, that's the role of the fiscal unit, which is for signing and storing receipts. And we have uh, the fiscal memory, which is inside the smart pay. Uh, and the, the BOS, uh, which is for storing daily totals. So that's the idea of tax collection integration. And now let's move on to the BOS application. So in order to install Smart Pay application, we need first to connect device to network and push the application to the device by or through Storm, which is the Fijian Terminal Management System. So in here we have the login page, which has, for example, uh, which has of course uh, the username and password that are required for for the login. So after we log in uh, successfully, we have uh, multiple modules like transaction management, cashier management, POS, all orders, the reports, products management. And we can change the language of the application just by clicking in here. And uh, currently, uh, uh, Smart Space supports many, many languages. And uh, if there is any language that is not supported yet, we can add it uh, easily by using uh, just an XML file. So let's start with cashier management. So we can choose uh, a product from this product list and we can add, add it to, uh, to the card just by clicking on add to cart button and uh, here we have the list of products that we have choose and we can uh, increase the quantity just by clicking on this button and we have in here the total price so uh, once we we are done with uh, choosing the products and the quantities we can submit uh, the order and in here we have uh, the ability to select any payments method we want like cash card paypal and other payment method and also we can we can choose the order type which can be pickup uh, home delivery and other type order and in here we have the, the to total of taxes and we can add uh, a discount if we want. Uh, after we uh, submit the payment, we, we can choose whether to insert or sweep the card. And of course, we enter the PIN and uh, choose whether to print a customer receipt. We have also a refund purchase. So the first step is to enter the amount uh, insert or sweep the card and insert the also we have void purchase so the first step is we have to uh, type the transaction number and in here we can we can see the transaction details like uh, merchant number terminal number card number expiry date and other uh, information and if we click on void, void purchase uh, we can choose whether to print the customer receipt and uh, we are done. And here we have the bill history. 
So the idea is we have to choose uh, a specific date. For example, here we have 28 April. So uh, in here we can see all kind of uh, operation that are done in this specific date, like this purchase and other purchase and refund and void purchase. So for example, if we choose uh, this purchase, we can, see, we can see the transaction details and other information. And also we have uh, settlement management, which is for transferring of funds. So, uh, for example, if we click in here, we can see the two purchases and cash advance, cash deposit, and others. And if we click on settle account, we can we can see here that the settlement is successful, and we can print the receipt. In here, we have the POS management, which has the customer management and supplier management. So the idea is we can add a new customer. Uh, given uh, a name, uh, some number, email, and other information, and uh, it is useful for uh, the customer loyalty programs. So it is very, very useful. Also, we have the supplier management. So it is the same. We can add uh, new supplier by clicking in here, and we can give it uh, a name. Uh, that person, cell number, email, and other information. So it is uh, uh, useful. Uh, for example, let's say you have a product that is out of stock. So you need to contact uh, a supplier to order uh, missing products and, uh, and other needs that you have. Also, we have all order management, which has the order history. So for example, if you click in this uh, order, we can see uh, all order details like subtotals, tax, discount, and total price. And if we click on PDF receipt, we can see uh, all this kind of information. Also, we have uh, report management, which has uh, the sales report, which is useful. As we can see, we have here the total price, total tax, uh, discount, and net sales. So it is useful for calculate. Uh, all sales that has been done. Also, we have monthly sales graph, which gives us uh, a very, very good uh, view of uh, the progress of our sales. So let's say, for example, here in January, we have this much of sales and uh, February, we have an increase. In March, we have a huge increase. And in April, we have a decrease of sales. So, so it is... Uh, it gives us a good uh, view of uh, the progress of the sales. So in here, we, in user management, we have the user management and role management. So the idea is we can add uh, a new role and give it uh, permission as we want. So for example, uh, let's say you want to give one of your uh, users the ability to do purchase uh, and refund and you don't want to give them the ability to see bill or uh, do uh, cash back or uh, access to settlement. So you can uh, give them the permission as you want. And also you can add a user and give it a name, cell, send number, email, and password and all of this. Now let's talk about smart pay backend system. So in here we have uh, the module that are inside the backend of SmartPay, like products category management, products management, uh, customer management, supplier management, expenses, and invoice management, reporting, and setting. So in here we have a dashboard of uh, backend system. We have the general view of uh, the customer, supplier, products, and order. And here we have the latest product that has been added inside the system we have the latest order as well and we can see here uh, the volume of product sales monthly and uh, the volume of expenses uh, also we have uh, the customer management in here so we have the list of the, our customers and we can add a new customer just by clicking in here and give it uh, information required 
uh, same thing for supplier. We have the supplier list and uh, we can add a new supplier just by giving it uh, the information required. Uh, also, we have the product, products category. For example, in here we have food and we have other uh, category of products and we can add a new product category and it, uh, it will be uh, updated inside uh, the Smart Pay application. Also, we have uh, the list of products and uh, their information like name, product code, price, weight, supplier, and stock. And we can add a new product and give it uh, the information required. Uh, in here, we have uh, all order information like name, invoice ID, type, total payment method, and the time that uh, where. Uh, when uh, the, the order has been done and uh, who's done the order and uh, in here we can see uh, the sales report in here we can see uh, the sales chart uh, monthly uh, and uh, the progress of our sales and uh, here we have another type of uh, sales chart also we have the expenses chart and uh, same thing is per month we can see the progress in here we have uh, the user management uh, so we have here the list of uh, the user that, uh, that use the the backend system and we can uh, we can see the, the information and uh, we can add a new user just by clicking in here and also we have the shop information and uh, the all kind of uh, details like uh, the shop name, email, shop phone, address, tax, and the currency symbol as well, and the status of uh, this shop. So thank you so much for your interest and attention. Uh, so that, that was just a general overview of SmartPay. Uh, if you have any thoughts or questions, uh, feel free to send us an email and we will, re we will reply on it. Or if you need any clarification about specific subjects, we can arrange a session to, session to clarify it for you. Uh, so thank you so much for your time. Goodbye. And now I would like to present the proof of concept of uh, some features of SmartPay on uh, Fiji and SmartPay OS device. So this is the login page. After with the input of username and password, we click on login. And here we have uh, multiple modules and on the main UI of our application, like the transaction management, cashier management, POS, all orders, reports, products management, and other important features that we are going to cover in this video. So let's start with uh, transaction management. So here we have multiple type of transaction like purchase, void purchase, refund purchase, pre-auth, void pre-auth, pre-auth completion, and other type of uh, transaction. So let's uh, begin with uh, a normal purchase. So the first step is the input of the amount. Click on this button and now I'm going to insert the card. And of course, the input of the PIN. And as you can see, uh, the receipt will be printed automatically along with the purchase details, like the amount and other uh, details. Also, we have the ability to print the customer receipt as well. As you can see here, we have the amount and other information. Also, we can still view this transaction by clicking on the view button and we can see the amount, merchant number, terminal number, card number, expire date and other type uh, or other uh, transaction details. Also, we can do the void transaction by clicking in here. We need to, to input the admin password 
and now we have to uh, specify the transaction number so I'm going to input and here we have the transaction details and we need to click on void uh, button in order to confirm the void uh, purchase So the void is done successfully and here we can see uh, the print uh, receipt is printed automatically along with uh, all details like the amount and uh, card uh, information and other details. And now I'm going to show you another type of transaction which is uh, a refund purchase so in order to do it we need to input the transaction number and then the amount the insert of card and then the input of the pin card and the refund is done successfully also we have another type of uh, transaction which is uh, a pre-auth so what is pre-auth it is a pre-authorization payment uh, and it is a temporary hold placed by uh, a merchant on a customer credit card and reserve of funds for uh, future payment transaction so in order to do what we need to input the amount and then inserting the card the input of pin and the payout is done successfully also we have the ability to do avoid payout so we need first to input the admin password Click OK and ensuring the transaction number. And to confirm the process, you need to click on this button and the void pre also is done successfully. Also, we have another type of transaction which is pre auto completion. So uh, it is used when a customer uh, actual bill uh, exceed the original uh, pre-authorized amount. So in order to perform it, you need to input the transaction number. And to confirm the process, you need to click on pre out completion and input in the amount and it's done successfully and also we have other type of transaction like uh, cash advance and uh, cash back so cash advance it's uh, a service provided by most uh, credit card and charge uh, card issuer so the service allows uh, the card holders to withdraw cash uh, and the cash back uh, is uh, in w uh, when card holders re receive cash uh, when they make a purchase so generally uh, small amount above the item cost and also we have uh, the settlement process so uh, First, I'm going to show you uh, bill history, so which gives us the possibility to see all type of uh, transaction records according to a specific date. So, for example, here we have refunds, we have pre auth completion, and other uh, type of transaction. And now we are going to see the settlement process. So, uh, what is exactly? 
the settlement so it is uh, it refers to the payment of uh, an outstanding balance that that brings the account to zero so in order to uh, confirm the process of settlement we need to click on settle accounts and the input of admin password and the process is done successfully and in here we have parameters which has all kind of transaction parameters like id the public key parameters merchant profile bins and other type of parameters and now i'm going to show you the cashier management so in here we have the list of all products so as we scroll down we can see uh, all kind of products uh, of uh, many many categories and if we want for example to see only uh, the products that belong into a specific category we click in here so for example i'm gonna choose drink so as you can see here we have only the products that belong to that specific uh, category also we have the ability to, to, to search a product just by typing the product name in here so for example uh, in here we have cheeseburger So in order to uh, perform a new order, we need to uh, add product to cart by clicking on this button. I choose this one. And then once we're done with the selection of products, we go to product card and we can see all kind of uh, product that we have selected already and we can uh, increase the quantities just by clicking on in here and, and uh, we can see the total price so once we're done with the product card we can submit the order so in here we have the possibility to select the customer that we want and also select the order type so I'm gonna lift pick up and also we have the ability to select the payment method so I'm gonna leave it cash also we can add uh, a discount if we want and once we are done with uh, this information we can click on submit and the order is done uh, successfully and from here we can view all order history so if we click on this button we can see in here all order history so for example if we click on uh, this specific order we can see the order details uh, the total uh, price and total tax discount and also we can see the pdf receipt in here so if we click on it we will uh, see a better view of our uh, order uh, details like the invoice ID, the order time, the customer name, description and the prices of products and the subtotal and the total price, discount and taxes. And also we have another uh, module which is the product management so in here we have the list of uh, the products so if we scroll down we can see all kind of products and uh, their information and if we click on of uh, on one of these items we can see the product details like product name code category description and other information we can even uh, see the product image and if we want to edit uh, this product we click only on edit and we can update the information and we can also add a new product just by clicking on this button also we have the POS module which has 
uh, customer and supplier management. So uh, in here we have uh, the customer list if we click on it and we can even add a new customer by clicking on, on this button and uh, inputting the name, send number, email and other information. So in SmartPay we have uh, the customer loyalty programs that uh, we can give the customer points, discounts, coupon and uh, any kind of uh, rewards. Also, we have the supplier management. So if we click in here, we can see the supplier lists and we can add a new supplier by clicking in this button and give uh, supplier information and confirming the add of this supplier. So it is useful, for example, if we, uh, in case you have uh, a product that is out of stock, you can uh, get in touch uh, with uh, the supplier and order the missing product. Also, we have uh, the report uh, management. So for example, uh, I'm going to, see, to select the monthly sales graph. So, which is ideal and very useful, uh, so it will help you to track your sales uh, progress on a monthly basis and also you can see uh, the total sales, tax, discount and the, to uh, the, the net totals of sales. And also we have in here the session management which has uh, multiple features like the profile management, so in here we can see the phone number email and we can change the password for uh, the admin we can also see the shop information like the shop name uh, number email address and we can set the tax percentages and uh, we can give the merchant's id and the terminal id and other information and in here we have the user management so it is really very useful in case you want to create uh, some uh, profile for the, the users so for example in here i'm going to show you the roles so in here we have uh, the user role so if we click on it we can set the permission that we want so for example if you want to prevent uh, the users from using void uh, features and uh, access uh, the access of settlements and any kind of permission that you want and also you can uh, see here the user list and you can add a user by giving it a name, send number, email, password and you can assign uh, a specific role for that user. And in here we can see the communication parameters uh, like the IP primary port, uh, IP secondary and others. And also you can see here the product category, the payments method, and you can even add a new payments method and integrate it in uh, the application. And also you can see, uh, the, uh, you can set the Bluetooth printer. And here we have the help desk, which is for uh, ticket center. So if you want, uh, for example, if you have any issue with the application, you can create a new ticket and uh, the support team Official will reply on it and they will help you to solve the issue. And also, we have the ability to change the language. So, for example, I'm gonna choose uh, the French language, and the application will will change the language. Also, we have uh, Spanish if we want, and we have also Arabic language. And if you want to add a new language, it is uh, so easy. You just need to uh, translate uh, an XML file and it will be done successfully. So that was all for the demonstration of SmartPay application into uh, a smart POS device. And now we're going to see the second use case of SmartPay in an Android smartphone device which has to be connected via Bluetooth to the ePay POS 600 with the following steps. So after the connection is done successfully, we need 
to initialize the transaction parameters. So this operation will take a while. We need to wait until it's done successfully. After the initialization is done successfully, we can uh, perform a transaction. So for example, in here, we are going to put the amount. And then tap the card. And confirm the processing of the card. And then the input of the PIN. And here we have the transaction is done successfully.